Now, with the hot weather set to continue this weekend, many will be eager to go for a swim to cool down. But people are being warned of the danger of jumping into cold water. Yeah, and one of those raising awareness is Debbie Turnbull, who lost her son Christopher to drowning in 2006 and has campaigned for water safety ever since. Well, she's set up a non-profit organisation called River and Sea Sense, and I'm very pleased to say that she joins us now. Good morning to you, Debbie. Really, really good to see you this morning. Um, so if we can just start by talking about your son Christopher and, and tell us what happened to him. Yes, um, I just want to offer um, my most sincere condolences to the families who have lost their children this weekend and, um, and always. But yes, Chris went into a waterfall. He went to a place called Capelcurig in the Conway Valley and he fell into the waterfall on August the 14th, 17 years ago. Yeah, what makes your um, story so personal? I think every parent can relate to this. Mm. I mean, I, I jump in rivers with my, my, my son all the time. And the thing people often don't realise, Debbie, of course, is that um, even though it can be incredibly hot, when the sunshine is out, the water can be very cold. And that's when kids can get into trouble, isn't it? Exactly. Um, basically, when Chris went into the water, it had been um, a really hot summer, just like we're having at the moment. And um, the water had come down from the mountains and created a huge whirlpool. He fell into the middle of it, which is called the boil. Um, basically, unfortunately, um, he was forced down into a cave underneath the waterfall and he got his foot stuck in a tree, in a tree root in the cave. Um, it was devastating and I, I feel the pain of the families at the moment who've lost their children. Of course, you, you, you will feel that pain for them. You will know exactly how that feels. Debbie, how much of this is about education and people knowing the dangers of cold water, especially on a hot summer's day? I mean, I don't know how you have the strength to do what you do and to set up your non-profit organisation, but clearly it is that need for education that, that drives you. It is. Um, I've educated over 550,000 children since the loss of my son. And um, basically, education is absolutely vital at the moment. Um, learning to swim is not enough. And as we know, we're having difficulties with pool closures and all that kind of thing. So we've got to educate our children, but it's also extremely vital to educate parents as well, because parents need to be telling their children of the dangers of open water, which is what I'm working on at the moment. OK, Debbie, now, uh, as a parent myself, you know, no parent likes to be the party pooper on a hot day. Uh, but what kind of basic bits of information would you recommend to parents listening in now uh, that they can use to keep their children safe this bank holiday and through the future of the summer? Um, you need to be aware of what's called cold water shock, which attributed to the loss of my son. Um, and that is basically when you jump into ice cold water, your body goes into shock, basically. And very soon, your body will lose consciousness without going into all the detail. Um, it can be extremely quick. And no matter how strong you are, the fight can be over quite quickly. Tombstoning is what people do when they jump into water without any education or advice, which means basically they're not doing what's called co-stellarium with the kit and with an instructor. And I know of a young boy that unfortunately hit the rock with his heel when he went in a number of years ago. And he became completely paralysed because he hit, it completely dis, disorientated his spine. Oh. And these, ha these things happen so quickly. Um, the temperature of the water that day when Chris drowned was actually four degrees, which is the temperature of your fridge at home. And this is what people don't realise. And it can all be over in seconds.